folks at home it is a beautiful afternoon here at the Bamble Bass Pond and we have some potential threats but first let's check in on these fish we got Bonnie swimming up right here hoping she'll be laying those eggs soon but really quick just to show you what we got set up we have set up Bonnie and Clyde their own channel and it's called Bamble Bass Pond so right now we're live streaming on that other channel you could either watch this camera or that camera we'll talk a little bit more about that later for this video we're going to talk about a new threat that we have and yesterday we were overtaken by toads we had frogs and toads piled into the pond you can see one right there right there on that stump and we're having some major issues because i don't know if they're poisonous or not but i'm just going to go ahead and roll into yesterday's clip so folks liz told me that a frog woke her up at 2 30 last night i was like what are you talking about there's not any frogs around our bass pond listen to that guy that is a loud frog even over the sound of the waterfall let's see if we can find him that may be the loudest frog I've ever heard. Oh, he's in the pond. Check him out. Look at him. I don't think he can get up. But there's another one that's over here. I can hear it. I think he's calling this one. There's two of them. Yes, one of them is on the back of the other one. That's exactly what that is. So folks, I just cut over to the live cam and a lot of guys were commenting that, hey, there's a frog in the pond. This is what happened whenever the frogs jumped into the pond and people got to see this on a live stream. That is so cool. See, I would have never known if Liz wouldn't have told me there's frogs out here I would, and you guys wouldn't have commented down on the live stream, I would have never known that we had frogs out here in the pond. And man, these two are lucky. They could be lucky. If you guys have been subscribed for a couple years, we put a baby frog in the tank one day and it survived, so we called him Lucky and let him go out here in the yard. Man, that's crazy. I don't know if, if these, I know that there's some, some frogs that are poisonous and I hope that this isn't one of those types because these fish are probably gonna eat them. I can almost guarantee you when Clyde comes out of his cave that they're swimming around. Yeah, I better get them out of the pond. So I couldn't get them out. They went, <laughs> there's another one over there that's loud. I couldn't get these two out. They went in that little crack right there. So they're on their own. Oh well, we may get to see a big topwater frog double explosion here later on. We got Bonnie and Clyde out over here pacing now. They want to know what's up. They know something's going on. No way! There's another frog up there. Our pond has literally been taken over by frogs. That's the fourth frog. We got one right down here, two in that crack over there, and I just saw one. I think they're trying to communicate with each other and group back up. There's another one. That's number five. We had a brown, like, spotted one that went and jumped in that crack, and then this one just came out of the pond. That is unbelievable. Frogs, I hate to tell you, y'all are hanging out in the wrong spot. Here I am over here trying to save these two, and there's three more over here. Yeah. Toad. Alright folks, I found out what the toads are doing here. They're actually mating, and this toad right here is laying eggs. 
Look at that long black string. I mean, it is a lot of eggs. It goes from him all the way over here down that rock. That is a ton. Man, that's a lot of eggs. But I just did a little bit of reading. I really have never thought about this, but I read that toad eggs could be poisonous and not good for fish. You see both of them, that's two frogs right there. One of them's on, on the back of the other. That's as zoomed in as I can get. But we got to get those eggs out of here. Definitely don't want the fish eating them and it causing problems for our pet. There's two right there and then there's also two mating right there. That is unreal. I've never seen frogs out here and then all of a sudden they pile in. I guess it's just the mating season. Hate to mess you guys up. I know that's just part of nature. That's what the toad eggs look like. But there's a million other places you can lay your eggs. Folks at home, I think I'm going to need your help. The frog is putting out his mating calls again. I walked out here just to see if there was any in the pond. I didn't notice any in the pond. But as I was walking away, I started stepping on frogs. Look at how many of them there are. They're all coming into these mating calls. And they're all across our lawn. If you guys have any idea, mostly, just let me know if these guys are poisonous. If they're not poisonous, I don't care because the bass probably eat them. Folks, there is no stopping these toads. Maybe the males are frogs. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can clarify that down in the comments. But the males, I think, are definitely the ones that do the calling. And they called all night long. So I think I'm just going to have to accept it and let nature take its place. Already had some comments that the frogs are out laying eggs in the pond early this morning. So let's go do a damage assessment. I guess I can still scoop the eggs out. I see one little male down there. Not sure if he's the one calling or not. So folks, I've given up on the idea of getting rid of all the toads and toad eggs. They just keep replenishing. You got two of them sitting right there and there's literally thousands of eggs down in this bush that I cannot get out. So if you guys can help me identify these toads and let me know that they're not poisonous, that'd be great. I contacted Greg the Pond Guy last night and he's like, no worries, you don't have to worry about toads or toad eggs in your pond. Hopefully Bonnie or Clyde won't eat them. I've always wanted to see them eat a frog, but not a toad. So this is a live look at the underwater pond cams right now. You got the crappie outlaw, he just came out. Clyde's out, Bonnie's out, everybody's out for their nightly feedings. But speaking of feedings, we gotta feed the boys. And I think what I'm gonna do this time is maybe try a little hand feeding. I know it's risky dealing with Moby because he's liable to bite my fingers off, but we're gonna see if we can get a little air time. How about that? Because I literally can't put my hand up here without him smashing it. I hate sticking my thumb down in there every time. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Moby, you are too much, buddy. You are way too much. Just let me get the top off and I'll feed you, I promise. Look at the mess Moby made. There's water everywhere, but I guess I did kind of entice him. Now, since Sheriff's gotten a little bit too big to be jumping out of the water, he didn't get to eat any minnows, so I'm going to drop some shrimp pellets in there for him. That's his favorite. And Moby says, not, not having any of that. Oh yeah, and one other thing to note, we put a new pet in the pond today, and he is an active little guy, so if you want to see the pet before it hits this channel, go check out that live stream now. Alright folks, we just got done doing our nightly live stream. We did it at 7 p.m., and as I was going back watching the replay, I saw a bunch of toad eggs that had hatched, basically tadpoles, and we're going to see if we can zoom in and see them. I even got a spotlight out here. They were right down there, right, the, all the toads laid their eggs in that bush. These tadpoles are sitting right down there. Let's see if we can spot them on the camera. Oh my gosh, there are hundreds, if not thousands of baby tadpoles here. I never thought that frogs would come or toads would come and lay eggs in this pond. I tried to get a whole bunch of them out, but obviously I couldn't get them all out. And they have hatched and there are tadpoles everywhere. We're actually live streaming out of this 
camera right here at this exact moment. They're probably wondering what's going on, but that is unbelievable. Can't wait to see what happens over the next couple of weeks because this is going to be pretty wild to see what happens with these baby toads in the bass pond. So I'll be keeping you guys informed because these are probably going to hatch in the little tadpoles here soon and there's probably going to be thousands of tadpoles swimming around and hopefully they're not poisonous because I'll, I can always guarantee you that Bonnie and Clyde and the crappie and the catfish are going to eat those. But either way, try to give me some feedback as soon as you can if you know much about the subject. But that is going to wrap up this video. Go check out that live stream if you want to see live action of these fish. And the first spawn, which was the toad spawn, and I was not expecting that. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and we'll see y'all next time.